All right, this is the Mobile Gamer Nerd Podcast, and this is Mobile Gamer Nerd. Today we're going to be talking about OSTs. Yes, that stands for Original Soundtracks, I think. I don't know. It could stand for something else. It could stand for Other Stupid Tricks. I don't know what it stands for, but that's what we're going to be talking about today, some music. We're going to talk about the music and games that we used to love, Uh, really, more specifically, games that i used to love really if i'm gonna you know be specific about this so we're gonna just go through you know take a take a trip down memory lane if you will so and just a little side note today will be the first day that we're going to be using our new microphone setup it's kind of nice we actually just got it in the mail i set it up looks all beautiful it seems to sound okay we did some test runs and hopefully everything sounds great so if everything's better feel free to leave a comment and be like hey man i think you sound better now that you're not using a freaking you know, microphone from a Barbie set. <laughs> That's actually what it felt like. I was using a blue. It was like the little ice, what is it, the snowball? And that thing is so tiny, but like for some reason, it just didn't work and I couldn't get it to work right on my computer and all that. So yeah, today we got something, we got a little something special for you. We got, you know, voice that you can actually understand. And yeah, and now we have the ability to bring other people on because we have a two mic set up now, even better, right? So fun stuff in the works. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to what today is and what we're going to be talking about. Talking about some music. Yeah, that's it. Muzak. So one of the first things that made me think of even talking about this topic, honestly, I was uh, listening to this uh, guy. He's on uh, he's on YouTube, and I honestly don't remember what his name was. Oh yeah, Smooth McGroove. That was it. Smooth McGroove. It just sounds good, right? I need I need a name like that. Mobile Gamer Nerd just doesn't roll off the tongue like Smooth McGroove. And uh, he does acapella versions of games. And I was like, that's cool. I forgot about this. And I just started listening to it. And the one that I really liked was the Donkey Kong Country uh, underwater level. Yeah, the underwater level for Donkey Kong Country. It was on it was on Super Nintendo. And if you never played it, it's actually one of the uh, one of the greatest games uh, as far as platformers go that I've ever played in my life. I mean, it's like it's like up there with some other games we'll probably be talking about more today as well. But yeah, like the underwater level. And I'm like, listen to it. I'm like, this is really nice music. I forgot how much I liked it. So much so that, you know, doing the underwater level, which by the way, suck. Uh, yeah, it didn't hurt. It didn't suck as bad because you were like entranced by the music. You're like, oh, this is sweet. It's like, boop, 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 boop. and you're like, yeah, this is nice. And it's all quiet and relaxing. And then you get your ass bit by a shark and you're dead. So yeah, that was fun. Now, that wasn't the only music in Donkey Kong Country that was one of my you know all-time favorites. I would actually say that the Minecart Madness levels, those were like one of the one of the best musical pieces that i've heard i know we're talking about these like they're beethoven right but they kind of are i mean they are composed they are made you know they're made with love so to speak and uh yeah the cart level was really cool and it was like it started off really like dark and it's like dan, 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 and it's like cool and then all of a sudden it just kind of builds and you're just you just got like a little gorilla jumping in a mine cart i know right lots of fun and you know what's funny try to explain that to someone like try to explain that to someone who's never played the game and be like hey man so here's what happens. There's a giant gorilla, and then there's a baby monkey, and they're like best friends. Like they're like just they're the best of friends. And they ride around in a mine cart on rails and they jump to grab bananas. They're gonna think you're crazy, but if you grew up in that time, then you know all about it and you are ready to rumble with that game. So yeah, it was definitely fun. And the music was great. I loved it. I mean, Donkey Kong Country all around, to be honest, had a lot of really good music even like the opening like the do the do do it's like the map like the map world yeah that was like one of the greatest games ever and every time you click start or whatever it would be like it would do like the little monkey noise yeah great game definitely a great game enjoyed it i beat it numerous times but yeah the underwater level and definitely the minecart level were my favorites and then sometimes there was a couple little ditties there i think one of the uh hidden rooms had a nice little musical thing going on for it too which i really enjoyed now Super Nintendo is pretty much, I would say, the pinnacle of music. I would say those are the best musical, well, at least for video games, yeah, like some of the best music you'll ever hear on games. And that's just my personal opinion. You can say that's wrong, and you would be right because that's your opinion, and you're allowed to have it. So I guess that's how that works. Now, the next one on Super Nintendo, however, is a game that we've brought up many times. Yes, Castlevania. Now, this is more of a franchise thing. 
I wouldn't say that just one Castlevania has good music. I would probably say that all of them do. And to be honest, I think they're all like I can't think of one outside of maybe the 3D ones that I played. That's you know th- that one sucked. I think it was was that on uh, N64 or something like that. They, they sucked. They were it was a terrible game. But other than that, all the other ones had really good music. Very like ambient, very dark. They would have moments of quiet, so all you would hear would be like the howling of the wolves and stuff, or like lightning or something in the background, and then it would just kick in with like you know their organs and stuff like that. Really cool stuff. My favorite out of all of them would probably be also Super Nintendo version Super Castlevania. Uh, I remember that there was a gold level, not an actual gold level, like the color gold, but like it was made of gold, and you would run around on gold. Yeah, actual gold, like coins. And the boss was a bat, and it was made of gold coins, so that was fun. And I remember that very vividly, and the music in that level was really cool. There's also a level that has like a, it's like an underwater cave, and it's got like the stalactites, and you see like the water dripping and everything. It was a little bit of an annoying level, but yeah. I remember that one having very ambiently, like, like really nice and soft music. It was kind of cool. And uh, then there was, I think it was actually right after that level, you go into, but I, I think it was like a, uh, almost like a reservoir. What do they call that? A sleuth? <laughs> I don't remember. But it was like a reservoir dam kind of area. And you have to climb the this little reservoir thing. And the camera would kind of just keep going up as you jumped and all that. It was one of those, you know, crappy levels. And it ended with, like, a giant snake fight. That area had really good music. I really like that. The opening area of the game is awesome. Yes, opening area music, very good. It's, like, it sets it off. It sets off the mood really quickly. And there was a lot of, like, sadness in some of the, in some of the music, which I think kind of what made it good. It was, like, it gave you that fearful kind of, you know, feeling while you're playing the game. But the best part would be the bosses. Yes. The bosses, the last area of the game where you're going through and you have to fight like these, uh, you have to fight all the bosses. I think, again, there's like three or four of them or they fight Reaper up there. Like there's a bunch. I forgot. It's been a while. But the boss music up there is phenomenal. Like that was honestly, I would, I would actually replay bosses and die just so that I could hear the music again because it was just fun. I mean, I beat the game a hundred times, so it didn't really matter if I lost. I just wanted to hear the music more. And you could just, you know, put it on YouTube, but YouTube wasn't a thing back then, really, was it? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I don't really know. I couldn't tell you. But Castlevania, awesome. Even, like, the Nintendo version had really good music. I remember that game pretty well. Um, I I don't know if I ever actually beat it, to be honest. I think I did. Uh, It was really hard. It was very hard. I remember that. That part I do remember. Super hard game. Um, You could argue, you know, Symphony of the Night had really good music, too, but it was... eh, I think that one was more of the action gameplay, which really got it. I don't think the music was as good. As Super Castlevania, I think it was good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it was nowhere near as good as the other games, like the originals. And I think that the gameplay itself was better. That was good because, like, that's when they really started pushing that, you know, that Metroidvania kind of style going on. But the music wasn't as great. There was a couple of the – I don't remember which systems it was. It was, like, the DS – and I don't remember what the newer one was called, the one, like the flip one. I don't know if it was like DS Ultra or something. I don't remember. There's so many DSs. Who the hell knows? And they and Nintendo has this thing of coming out with like 14 different versions of the same system because they're trying to make money off you like that. But I remember that the, the, the like Circle of the Moon. Um, there was <laughs> what I say like, of the Moon. Yeah, those were all good. And uh, there's a bunch of the DS versions like and like those that were just you know amazing. I I loved all of them. The music in them was really good. I remember playing them all a lot like I, I would just i beat them at least like three or four times each there was uh, so many good ones i mean i think there's at least three or four that in a row they came out with i guess they just knew that they were selling really well because everyone's like yeah i want to do more castlevania and then you run out of stuff to do and then oh look there's more castlevania yeah there's always more castlevania literally I, you could probably if you start it right now if you've never played a castlevania in your life you could probably invest the next five to ten years of it of your life on castlevania and you probably still you know, either just run out or never run out. So, yeah, I definitely think that Castlevania has some of the best OST in the ga- in the in the gaming world. Definitely fun. I like that. Uh, another one which we could say is classic. Yes, classic would probably be Final Fantasy. Uh, they're like they're they're basically I would say known for their music. You know, like dungeons and all the things like that. Like they had such good music in almost every single game. Even like the beginning in Final Fantasy, like. You would like what was it? The, the battle fight, the battle fight music in Final Fantasy One, and then the opening music that do 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 
like I, I can't sing it. I have a bad singing voice. But you know what? I'm, I'm sure you guys love it. So that's the kind of thing. Like it's just it's iconic is really what it is. Like even people who don't play Final Fantasy probably know the opening music to Final Fantasy, and they probably know the fight music, and they also know that. Yeah, they all know that. Like they, they, you hear it, and you're just like, oh yeah, that's Final Fantasy. I probably could have not even told you it was Final Fantasy and just sang that part, and you would have known it was Final Fantasy. So. I know Final Fantasy has the, some of the best music. The first, the first one, like, eh, it was good. There was some good stuff in there. I mean, for the time, it was amazing. I would probably say that you know, two and three started really up in the game. I know that the music in the cave, I, I forget which one it was, because it's it's the one with Terra, where she's the main character. She's getting transported in the beginning, and I know it was like three in America or like six in you know another country. It was just like they changed the numbers depending on what country you're in. Apparently, that's just how they like to do things. And I believe it was the one with Terra, and you're in the cave in the beginning in those little mech suits. And that game had a lot of really good music. It was it was probably one of my favorites. You had like 18 different people, and you had Mog. You know, Mog, you had Mog as a playable hero. So I, I can't fault that game because I like Mog. Even Final Fantasy 14, I play Mog. Yes. <laughs> um, funny enough, speaking of Final Fantasy 14, that's that's the online one, and it actually has some really good musical score, like especially dungeons like i'm not really a big fan of like the areas and stuff some of them are nice they're, like they're very they're very quiet they're relaxing and i like that for when you're like farming or fishing or mining you know all the the and the uh tiring tasks that you do in mmos that area those areas are good but there's one specific dungeon and i can't remember the name of the actual dungeon it's in a realm reborn and it's when you're moving your way into the second expansion there's a snow cave and that cave has some of the best music ever. Like, I just love it. I really do love it. It was great. And I would actually kind of play that like I played Dark Souls 2. Like how there's a, there's an ice, the ice area when you first walk up to the ice castle in the DLC. And you would just put your sign down and just help people every single time and just run through it. And that's kind of what I would do with uh, Final Fantasy. I would just queue up the snow cave and go for it, and I would just keep running it, because I just liked the music, and it was a cool level, like, I really enjoyed it, I enjoyed running through the cave, I enjoyed the music, I enjoyed the monsters, some of the bosses were kind of fun, uh, you had a couple times you die, because you have a tank who just decides they were going to run around and, you know, pick up everything, because they're like, oh, everyone's not new, you know, little did they know that some people are new, and they're, they're, you're going to die, yeah, that's what happens, it's unfortunate, not every dungeon can be beat in five seconds, so I remember doing that, and then I know a lot of, like, the areas in the newer game are really have really good music but dungeons done like dungeons you could literally just run a, a new dungeon every day and the music would still be good so final fantasy 14 definitely did it and we all know the next one from the final fantasy series that had the great music we know final fantasy 7 yes yes final fantasy 7 i mean it is what it is it's going to be it's going to be on that top list no matter what you do i mean just because of the time it came out and you know it broke a lot of barriers it did a lot of things that a lot of other games hadn't done yet the Midgar music was really good. The opening sequences are really good. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, the music when Arius dies is really nice. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. If if I ruined it for you and you did not know that Arius dies in that game, uh, yeah. I mean, there's not much I can do for you at that point because it's like it's like wondering if Luke, if if Darth Vader is Luke's father. You should know this by now. Like, there's no there's no like, oh, maybe he don't know. Maybe I can't tell people that. Darth Vader is Luke's father. If I can't tell you that, I don't think we can be friends. I don't think that's possible. No, it's not true. I mean, we can be friends, but I'll, I'll, ridic I'll I will ridicule you. Just know that. But that's basically how I feel about Eris's death. If you don't know by now, you're probably not going to find out. So if I ruined it for you, I don't feel bad about it. There's like a 20 year, I think, statute of limitations, right? 20 years. If something's been out for 20 years and you don't know about it. I'm sorry. Like you're going to get spoiled. Or just go play it. Play the damn thing. That's probably your best bet. And then you won't get spoiled. See. Go play Final Fantasy VII. But the game had really good music. I remember the world map music was really good. Boss music was really good. Um, yeah, I can't think of any specific area because it's been so long since I played it. Like, most of my memories of Final Fantasy, Fantasy VII is, like, the boss music and, like, the, like the, uh, yeah, like the, oh, yeah, that's, I can't even remember it. <laughs> I can't even do it, right? But it was the beginning like that and, like, the Midgar areas. Like, that's the parts I remember because I played those parts a lot. And yeah, when they're like when the characters are interacting and the off little cut scenes, that's really nice. I mean, all the Final Fantasies have good music. I, I'm sure even eight and nine had some some really good music. Uh, but yeah, any any Final Fantasy, you could just pick one out of a hat, to be honest, and you'll 
probably be able to get some good music out of the deal. Now, I would say Mario Brothers could be considered good music, but it's not the kind of music that I would put on like and drive. Castlevania, I would do that in a heartbeat because their music's awesome. Uh, Donkey Kong, those two, those two levels, I love them. I would drive to that. Mario Brothers has good music, but it's not. It's like classic music. Same thing as like the. It's like a. It's like a, uh, It's iconic, just like the other stuff. Like you know it, but I wouldn't listen to it. You know, I wouldn't be like, yo, this this song kicks. This song kicks, baby. Let's let's ride and listen to some freaking Mario Brothers. They're like do do do. Do, 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 do. And you're like, yeah, no, it's just not. It's just weird. I would feel weird if someone put that on while I was driving. I mean, I wouldn't feel that weird, to be honest, because my friends are weird. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't ask for it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I would not ask you to put Mario Brothers on. Yeah, I wouldn't. But great music in all of the Mario games. Mario Sunshine was really good. That was probably one of my favorite Mario games, I think, out of all the series. That one. And then as far as that, as far as in Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Mario, Super Nintendo, what is it? Mar- Super, what is it called? Super Mario Bros. There we go. It's just Super Mario Bros., right? Super Mario Bros. World. There we go. I have to remember a lot of things, and unfortunately, I don't, because it's really hard when you're put on, when you're put on the spot, and you're just like, because I'm not, I don't have a script here. I'm not like, you know, I'm not like reading a book as I do this. I'm just kind of babbling. It's essentially what I'm doing. So, when you're put on the spot, and if like if I if you ask me like what are the seven deadly sins like right now, I'd probably not be able to list them all. I'd probably be like oh, I don't know, uh, toast, uh, wrath. <laughs> you know, I would just make up ones because I wouldn't know. But if I wasn't online and I wasn't you know just kind of doing this, then yeah, I probably would know them off the cuff. But yeah, I would say Mary Bros is iconic. I wouldn't say it's the best. I would just say it's iconic, and it it, it, it kind of evokes like a happiness is essentially what Mary Brothers does. It gives you it gives you a happy feeling. And I don't, I don't think it really, I don't think it really is something you would listen to normally, though. However, if we're moving into the Nintendo area, you have a wonderful franchise called Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man. See, Mega Man's awesome for for one really good reason, and the reason is is that Mega Man, it's almost like uh, if you ever listen to Trust Company. Or another one that most people might might know would be, I would say, the the first Linkin Park album was it Hybrid Theory. Like those those two albums are essentially the same nonsense. Like you like if you heard any song on on either one of those albums, you would immediately know it was them. And not even because of like even if you hadn't heard them before, like you would know it was that band because they just have such a distinct sound that it just it just translates to every single one of their songs. And Mega Man does the same thing that those two albums does. Mega Man is a very specific sound. He, I mean, even right now, like if you're not, if you have, if you've played it before, even right now, you're probably thinking of all the all the Mega Man noises, and you're just like, oh yeah, I know that one. Like, yeah, that one's cool. And one of my favorite ones was I think Snake Man, and I think it was Mega Man Three. I could be wrong. Uh, Mega Man Three, I think it was, was Snake Man. That was one of my favorite levels in all of Mega Man, and I remember that I just would go in that level and just play it over and over again just so I could hear the music again. And all the areas, even like the newer ones, like Super Nintendo, but Nintendo's the classic. Like, I would have to say that Super Nintendo tried to recreate the music and vibe of what Mega Man was in on Nintendo. Now, they also made the game a lot less difficult, if I remember correctly. So, like, the newer ones weren't really that hard, but the old ones were, like, brutal hard. But the music was just insanely better. So, if you are a music connoisseur and you love music from video games... Just go look up any Mega Man OST, and you'll probably be really excited. I mean, I don't know about I don't know about really excited, but you'll be happy. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be like, "Woohoo, we're gonna go play and listen to Mega Man!" But you're gonna, you know, you're gonna like it. That was kind of like Adam Sandler, right? <laughs> Stop looking at me, Schwan. That's basically how I feel when I when I was doing that. Uh, but yeah, Mega Man, really good game, really good music. Uh, I I couldn't think of anything worse, anything better. Sorry than that as far as like your classic Nintendo that is easily recognizable. Now, there was also a lot of random games that I remember had some really good music, like random. There was one game, Crystallis. It was a really old Nintendo game. That game had a lot of good music, uh, Wise or Ease, whatever the hell you call it. But that game had a lot of really good music. There was a bunch of stuff. Um, even, even throughout the series, that game had really good music. I remember that. Uh, if we're moving into the mobile game world, you could easily argue for King's Raid, which was a really good game until they screwed it up. I've said this before, uh, but we won't go into that. But their music of that game was really good. I remember the boss music, the fights, everything about it musically was really good. 
And then there's another game, which is actually shut down now from mobile, that was really freaking good as far as the music, and that was called L Chronicle. And that you have to, unfortunately, look up if you really want to ever hear the music from that, if you're a big fan of OSTs. Um, each character within L Chronicle actually had their own music. Like, they had their own kind of themes. It was like wrestling, I guess. They had their own theme song, but each one was like a new, like, awesome song. Uh, some of them were a little corny, but, like, most of them were just, like, they were beautifully done. And it had a great story, and part of that story was, like, their little their little musical thing that came with it. It was only when you were on, like, the hero screen, like, when you're, like, kind of, you know, sliding through your heroes to check out which gear they have and all that. You could, at any time you click the hero, their their music would switch on. So that was kind of cool. I thought that was really nifty. Their areas had really good music, and the fights were really fun. I mean, that, that was a great game, and I'm I'm kind of upset that they shut it down. They did make a new version um it's not the same game at all like it's more of it's an idle game i think it's, it's called fantasy something um fantasy fun i don't remember it's something fantasy just look up fantasy in uh in the uh app store under games and you'll probably find it and that game has good music too actually really good music in there too but that one's it's based on the characters that were from l chronicle from what i can see it just wasn't it's just not as good because it's it's just an idle game uh, I mean, there's some fun to be had there. I think I played it for a couple weeks, and it was really cool. But the music alone is worth it. The opening songs on both games were really good. Um, they were in a different language, but they, but they just didn't make it bad. It was still good. I mean, I could listen to it. I was just, but I would be singing up, singing like the wrong lyrics because I don't know what the hell they're saying. That was fun. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely recommend those as far as mobile games. Cat Quest is fun. I've said that in a few podcasts, but I don't remember if the music was. Yeah, the music was catchy. I remember Cat Quest had some it had some catchy music. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, let's see. All right, so now we've gotten we've gotten through some of the main ones, right? We got Castlevania, we've got Mega Man, we've got Final Fantasy, Mario. He's, it was in there. I'm trying to think of like I'm trying to think of any game that really, really kind of reminded me of of childhood. Let's see, like something that like really blew me away because Donkey Kong. I think Donkey Kong and, Me and Mega Man and Castlevania were probably I think those are the ones that most people would probably pick up on. Like, I don't think there's like anybody who would really deny that any of those games had great music. Um, Devil May Cry was more ambient, but still good. Um, a little more rocket, rocky, like kind of techno, techno death devil metal. <laughs> I don't know if anyone really remembers Devil May Cry, the old ones. They were really cool, and I remember playing four. I think, was it 4 was the one you had to play through twice to beat it? Like, cause you had to play through it with both people? I forgot what it was. It, it was it's been a while. It was either 3 or 4, I don't remember. I think it was 4, because that was on PS2, I believe. And that game always had really good music. Uh, I, I enjoyed that one a lot. I can't think of any... I can't think of any other ones that were like... Once again, it's like you're on the spot. I'm trying to decide what were some of the really good games that had some awesome music. Because these are, these are like... I, I kind of blew through the iconic ones, but I want to try to find some hidden treasures. Like I know El, Con El Chronicles is probably one that a lot of people wouldn't know. Um, but if not, you can look up Smooth McGroove. He can do all that for you. He does like, uh, what is it? Go what's the Goku thing? Dragon Ball Z tunes. He does all that stuff. Uh, I don't really listen to that kind of stuff though. I'm not really into anime and anime music. It's not my thing. You would think I would be since I'm such a nerd about games, but I'm not. I d I'm not an anime guy. Sorry. Sorry if you like anime. I mean, I'll, I'll let someone come on here and talk about anime but I, I don't i won't have anything to really say other than you know i don't i know goku like that's it i know goku i know what's that there's the the school there's like one there was one with like i mean they're all in high school right it's like almost every single anime is a high school thing it's weird right i know a lot of people are gonna get mad at me for that they're gonna be like no i love anime I'm like, it's not high schools i'm like yeah but a lot of them are <laughs> i'm like a lot of them are they probably have good music. I mean, I know a lot of the opening musics are really good too. I'm, I enjoy those. I've heard them. I've heard them in the background, like because in my old house where I used to live, I used to live with like uh, a couple people, and one of my roommates would love, just loves anime. So you would just hear that stuff kind of rumbling from the house all day. It's like, oh look, it's anime. It's like this is the best song ever. I'm like, it sounds like a little kid singing me a lullaby. I don't know. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Do you want to fall asleep to that? Like it sounds. It, if you just play a little bit of creepy music behind it, you'd be in a horror movie. That would be where you would be. You'd be in a horror movie. Um, yeah. So that's really the ones that stand out to me. I'm, I mean, I can't really think of anything else that I really, really loved as far as old school music. I'm sure there's plenty, and I'm sure you guys are going to have some that you want to, 
you know, tell me about that I haven't heard before. I mean, feel free. I'm all about people leaving comments on the podcast and making sure that, you know, everybody's kind of involved in this. It's just like the, uh, this is just going to be like the raid stuff. I mean, I want people to kind of join in and give their opinions and, you know, leave comments, like, subscribe, all that stuff. It's always good and it keeps the community moving. I know we spent about six months trying to get 13 subscribers with the raid stuff. So we just started, this is only what, episode seven, maybe six. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're, we're getting more views now from this than I got from the raid thing in the beginning. So I'm happy, you know, as long as somebody's listening, we can always wait. It's just time. That's all it is. Hopefully more people can get involved. I really, I really do enjoy doing the podcast thing because I can kind of talk about whatever I want. It's really, it's more like a, it's more uplifting in that sense. And I can bring other people on to talk about it too. When I'm showing a video about how to beat a dragon boss, you know, it's, it's a little weird if I bring somebody in and be like, Hey man, what do you think about me beating this dragon boss? And they'll be like, that's cool. Like, thanks. <laughs> I mean, unless you actually have something specific you're going to talk about, I guess, you know, if, if they beat it a different way, maybe then I could say, yeah, I'll bring somebody in to talk about raid with me. But other than that, it's more of a, that's more of a tutorial service kind of thing for me. And it's also more of like a, a challenge run for me. So it's kind of fun, but yeah, that's a, that's the games that really kind of, you know, got me into the music of the, of the gaming world. And yeah, like I said, feel free to leave a comment about your favorite and tell me if you hate my, my, uh, ability to hate anime make sure if i hate anime and you don't hate anime then we're great right no that doesn't that's not how that works <laughs> we have to be friends we have to be friends if you like anime and i hate it it's important that we're friends all right i don't care if i make fun of anime we still have to be friends all right so if you guys have anything else you want to ask feel free to let me know and uh yeah i think this is that's it today was a good day about talking about music i enjoyed it it's very nostalgic i'll tell you that much very nostalgic all right so i hope you guys have a really great day this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.